We live in the age of drones. They have grown so fast in popularity that it seems like there is a new consumer drone coming out each week. Today, we're taking a look at the Snaptane's SP510 drone. Snaptane SP510 is a medium-sized foldable drone that is lightweight and easy to fly. If you're an avid remote pilot looking to become a professional aerial photographer someday in the future, then look no further because Snaptane's SP510 is the perfect entry-level camera drone that will teach you the basics of flight controls as well as capturing aerial shots. It comes with some advanced features like GPS, smart flight modes, and an automatic return home. Inside the box, we can find the SP510 drone, a battery, a USB cable, the remote control, extra propellers, extra screws, a screwdriver, and of course the manual. The Snaptane SP510 has an elegant modern design. It is well built with good quality plastics and has a nice dark color. Its foldable motor arms can be extended outward when you're ready to fly. When the drone isn't in use, the motor arms provide an additional layer of protection against impact, along with its high-grade aluminum material for improved durability. The built-in LED lights are positioned on the motor arms that provide visual support during your flight session. It's powered by a 7.4-volt, 1500mAh battery, which goes on top of the drone, and some nice little LED lights that indicate its power level. The battery provides the drone with a flight time of around 14 to 16 minutes, depending on how aggressively you fly the drone and if you use its FPV feature. Now, 16 minutes is a decent flight time, but there are drones that have a better flight time at similar price points. Also, you only get one battery, which is kind of a shame. So if you want to extend the flight time, you'll need to purchase an extra battery, which will cost you an additional $30. One of the best aspects of this drone is its controller. It's a nice and simple controller that has a minimalist design, which I'm a fan of. It's small and has a pair of handles that pull out from the bottom and a smartphone holder that pulls out from the middle. The buttons are clearly labeled so you know what they do, and it has a dial on top that will allow you to adjust the angle of the camera. It also has an integrated battery, which can be charged via a USB cable, which is provided. So no need for any battery purchases for the controller. The drone flies very well. It holds and maintains a steady altitude when in hover mode, and it's easy to control. It has three speed modes and is quite fast, so if you are a beginner, I'd advise you to fly in its default mode. The maximum transmission range is just under 500 meters, but expect something a little bit less. Personally, I'd stay within the 400 meter mark just to be safe. Thanks to the GPS, we have three modes. Circle fly, which can automatically orbit around or fly along the path you set, the auto return home mode, which enables precise positioning and prevents losing the drone, and the tap fly mode, which will fly along the path you draw on the app, allowing you to focus on capturing photos and videos. It has a micro SD card slot on the bottom, which is compatible with cards up to 128 gigabytes. So that should be more than enough space to record your videos and images on. Plus, to get the full 2.7K quality of the camera, you'll need to record the video footage on the card. Otherwise, the video quality is only 1080p. The camera on the Snaptane SP510 is better than standard. It's a 2.7K wide-angle camera that can record some good video footage. It's not a professional camera drone, so don't expect to be winning any prizes with the photography. However, it's not meant for people who are looking to take some awesome video footage of sandy beaches in Malibu. The camera doesn't have any advanced stabilization features, so you may notice some jello effect and shakiness in your videos. So for the best quality, you're going to want to stick to flying when the weather's good. The live streaming quality is pretty decent, however it's not 2.7K, as that resolution can only be recorded on the micro SD card. Instead, it's 720p, which is still nice. The transmission range for the FPV is around 300 meters if it's a clear day and there are no obstructions. Overall, it's a nice camera that will allow you to take some good video footage and aerial images. So, where do we stand with the Snaptane SP510? I think, overall, this is a good drone and very fun to fly. The 2.7K camera will allow you to take some cool videos and images. I do wish the flight time was a bit more, or they included an extra battery, but all in all, I'm impressed with this drone. Costing just under $200, it comes in with some advanced features and a good camera. For more information and its current price, check out the link in the description below.